Let us understand the difference between population and sample. This is the obvious question when you take your first statistics class. So what is population? What is sample? So well, let's understand this little, um, you know, visual, visual problem here or scenario. So well, if this is the entire class. Let's assume this is a statistics class. In this statistics class, I have how many students? I have four times five, 20 students. And among these 20 students, I have male and female. So this is going to be my population, actually. That is going to be my population. Now, if I try to draw a sample, of course, out of this population, so the sample is going to come off with like that, actually. So I'm going to actually uh, draw a sample with, without any limitation. Uh, no age requirement, no uh, height, uh, no um, gender, nothing, obviously, just randomly, without any limitation. So I'm going to actually draw actually six of them. So let's draw the six of them. I took from here and separate them. I have question later on. I can analyze their grade. I can analyze their height. I then analyze their age, and I want to see maybe how they do in the class. So that is a sample actually. So what is the sample is telling out of this class? Okay. So well, this is basically my sample because it's drawn from here, the bigger one. Okay. So also the notation in statistics, in statistics, if you look into this one here. This is the entire population. So population size, we say population size is going to be N, which is a capital letter N is equal to 20. That is a 20 individual. Now, if I go down here, and this is going to be small letter N, which is going to be 6. Okay, let's understand more on it, actually. So, well, in the population on the left one, if it is, this is a population. So, well, what does population tells us? population tells us this is going to be whole, this is going to be total, and this is going to be entire group, this is going to be set, and this is going to be all element, okay? So these are basically are telling us this is a population, whole, everything, total, everything, entire group, everything, set, whole thing, all elements, every member. Third, well, it's not everything, it's part, and that's portion, that's a subgroup, that's a subset and that's few elements from all. That's few elements from all. So this is basically telling us this is going to be a sample and that's telling us this is going to be a population and population capital N is the sample size, population size and sample size small letter N in this case is six. Okay, let's look at an example. An institution has 750 first year students, 338 male and 412 female. A psychology professor chooses 75 students at random to complete the memory task and answer a specific question. So obviously the question is going to be what is the population? What is the sample? Okay, so I would like to actually analyze it here. So I'll, if I have this circle here, this circle represent everything. So that's a 750, that's a 750. Well, I would say actually 750 on the top here. 750 on the top. And I would love to say this is, in this case, I have 338, 412. So this is a 338 plus 412. So this is my population here. That's a population. Now, what about the sample? So from this, I would like to see my sample. So sample is 75 students, 75, 75 students. So sample is just 75 students. So again, this one is the entire group out of this is 338 plus 412 students and that's a 750 that's a population and that would be the sample that would be the sample so what we understood what is the population in this case population is going to be 750 students 750 students and what is the sample size is going to be 75 is the sample size thank you